Good evening, Stefanov. Hey. Welcome to Dan Pena's QLA seminar. Thank you. Just have a few questions on the seminar. Like yeah, comments on. Are you glad you attended the seminar and why? Um, yes, I'm very happy I did attend the seminar. Um, why? Well, uh, overall, it gave me a totally different perspective of what I can, what is possible to achieve in life, and what I can achieve in life, and what and how I should set my goals. As advertised, does Dan make you take responsibility? Well, I don't think it can make you. Uh, it certainly does tell you how you should start taking responsibility of your life. I'm sure it's going to, through the 12 month uh, mentorship, I'm sure it's going to kick my ass to make me take responsibility. But ultimately, it's a, it should be a conscious decision. I, I should take responsibility. So, yeah. <laughs> Was there a point during the week when something struck you differently from what had in the past and you've decided now to change how you do things? Um, I mean, the second day for me was an open minder. Uh, we had an interview. It was not the first interview. It was the second interview or webinar, and was with like uh, I think a twenty years old kid, and he's building a, a huge deal, like hundred fifty million deal, on the phone, and with no previous experience. So that for me was a, a totally. Uh, shift of mentality, you know, shift of level. I, yeah, that was like mind opening, mind blowing, actually. And you now believe then you can do it as well? Yeah, of course I can. Yeah. yeah. Has your vision of what you can achieve grown or changed during the weekend and how? Yeah, like, like I said, yeah, for this reason, I mean, uh, I realize it's just a number. I mean, whatever goal you put, talking about business, then you have a goal. It's just a number. You know, it could be like 10, it could be 100, it could be 1,000, it could be 2,000, just a number. And, and once you set the number, you just do whatever it takes to get to the number. So this is what it changed for me. So just set bigger goals. Well, Dan talks a lot about taking action now. What plans do you have for the next 21 hours, 21 days? Oh, oh well, I, I live in Vietnam, so my next 21 hours are going to be sitting in an airplane. Um, my next 21 days is another matter. Uh, well, what I plan to do is follow the program, basically, so get all the paperwork I brought down and try to organize it, just systemize it, and then have a look also at all the content I will receive by email, and that's probably the first 21 hours while flying, while being airport. Mm -hmm. And then the other 21 days will be, uh, yeah, follow the steps. So find the board, find the deal, and step by step, and try not to kick it my ass too much. <laughs> Are you pleased with what the final outcome of the seminar is? Uh, sorry, could you re repeat? Are you pleased with what the final outcome of the seminar is? Can you rate it between one and a hundred? Uh, now will be 100, now definitely 100 because again, uh, you don't know what you don't know, so I didn't know what I know now before coming here, so it's definitely worth it every minute I was here. Um, I hope to give it 1000 in one year time. What would you recommend then to those watching this interview on YouTube? Uh, if you... If you think, I mean, I assume that you went through all the free content because you, if you see this YouTube, I guess you follow then. Um, if you did so and you think there is even a small chance that this thing is for you, start saving to come here. Because reading it is one thing, being it and experiencing it is a totally different thing. Uh, so yeah, if you know what Dan is talking about and if you think there's even a slight chance this is what you'd like to do, just save the money or find the money or borrow the money, do whatever it takes to come here because it's just a game changer. <laughs>